Hi, my name is Kia Hochwan. I'm with Sales 2.0. Hi, Gerhard. I'm Karen Steele. I'm VP of Marketing for Exactly Corporation. Help me understand, what is Sales 2.0? Well, I think Sales 2.0 is all about taking the people, processes, and technology and helping companies be more effective. There's a whole bunch of great tools out there right now that are helping companies better forecast their business, get in, insight into their funnel, um, in our case, automate things like sales performance management, whether that be incentive compensation or quota and territory management. So I think the combination of tools and technology and the innovation that's out there to help fundamentally change these business processes to help companies get more value is what 2.0 is all about. So can you name some of the technologies they are using currently and how they're working for you? Sure. Uh, well, we are standardized on Salesforce.com for our CRM. Um, we also use Manticore for marketing automation, which I think is really important too because it starts at the front end of the funnel generating leads, how many of those leads are, are genuinely converting to opportunities so that I can move them into the funnel and look at forecasting my business. Um, we also use Big Machines, which is a quoting and proposal configuration tool, um, which helps us do effective quoting and pricing. Um, we use Genius for some insight into um, leads that are coming in and how to follow up on those leads. So we have a whole host of uh, on-demand tools that we use internally. And you use exactly for compensation. Of course we use exactly for compensation. We also use exactly rewards, our non-cash uh, incentive application that we built natively on the force.com application for non-cash or point-based rewards mm -hmm. uh, for spiffs and contests and things of that nature. Is there anything you left out? Do you do uh, online training? We do not do any real online training today. I mean, we're certainly interested in companies like Cadient and Savo, uh -huh. uh, you know, they're doing sales readiness right. type, type uh -huh. things. Lots of good stuff out there, but we, we haven't leveraged any of that yet. And um, what about sales process? How did you create the sales process for your company? Well, I didn't create it since I run marketing. Right. Um, I certainly am very aware of what it looks like, and it looks at a holistic approach of qualifying the business and bringing the business into the pipeline and looking at you know, what stage the business is in. And um, that was really done through, I think, just a lot of education with a lot of folks that have been around a long time right. on the sales team. So sales and marketing collaborates and then they define the targets and then we do. You use Manticore to... Yeah, in fact, our... I have a, my team has a lead quota, effectively, mm -hmm. that right. is tied to revenue we need to generate per quarter, mm -hmm. and we have targets around what marketing needs to contribute to the funnel, what business development needs to contribute to the funnel, and what sales needs to contribute to the funnel. And then we track conversion rates all the way through. So I think we have, we have unusual um, insight into our funnel because we're managing it on the front end with automation, we're managing it in the middle with automation, and of course we're managing how people are getting paid with our own tool exactly in sense. So how did you decide on Manticore? There are probably uh, 20 different competitors in that space. There are. What? And we probably looked at half a dozen. Um, and to be honest, we're not a huge company. We're about 140 people today. Um, we do a lot of marketing campaigns. Virtually everything we do is, is online. Uh, most of our activity today is in North America. So a lot of the tools we looked at, we were just looking for, you know, kind of walk before we run, what could really get us started with some lead scoring, some nurturing campaigns. Um, looked at a lot of good tools, including Eloqua, uh, who we like a lot. Um, and they're a little more advanced than what we needed today, so we looked at other products, but we chose um, Manticore. Mm -hmm. um, and Manticore is doing a great job for us in terms of web analysis of what's happening in the funnel and what's happening with leads, uh, dynamic lead scoring, which is really important, managing campaigns, which is really important. And we were doing a lot of that manually uh, in the past. How do you measure the customer success? Well, that's a great question, and any on-demand company has to look at renewals because in this business it's all about annual recurring revenue. So we actually have a dedicated team, a customer success team, which reports into my organization, and their entire job is not just upselling and cross-selling and getting more business from customers, but making sure that our customers are very satisfied and happy and that when it comes up to renew their business that they're going to renew and hopefully buy some additional stuff from us. And how many touch points uh, did you design during this cycle? Wow. Um, well, there, there's a number of things because we measure, we have a quarterly report card that we do with customers with, which looks at performance, which looks at usability, which looks at um, 
in our case, because we're a calcul our product does a lot of calculation, we look mm -hmm. at workflow and calculation performance. So there's touch points through customer support, um, through our operations team, through our sales team, and also through our, our success team who really goes out and measures how we're doing. So the customer report card is filled out by the customer or by the entire team inside? So we, we sell to various constituencies. We sell to both finance and sales. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the first report card we generated, which is in, intended to be a baseline, mm -hmm. was done with a verbal conversation, uh, either in person or over the phone, with each individual, each key decision maker in the company. Um, and that data got shared with the rest of the team, and that provides the baseline, and then we do online surveys to supplement that. And how has customer retention gone up because of that? It's gone up in a big way. Um, we, we've always had a high renewal rate, 94-ish uh, percent, um, but I think customers are just delighted that you're focusing this kind of attention. Even if you're getting you know, mediocre marks in, in certain areas, the fact that you're asking the questions and you're being attentive to trying to learn how the customer is using your product, what value they're getting out of it, things that they'd like to see enhanced in the future. Uh, so it's been a very positive experience. So Karen, what other sales 2.0 trends do you see in the marketplace happening right now? Well, I think there's going to be a convergence. There's a lot of point solutions, as you know, out there. We were talking about that earlier today. And I think they'll, there's got to be a roll-up of some kind where companies can look toward you know, at one level of a sales performance or an automation suite where they can get a lot of things from a single vendor. I think the beauty of SaaS is that you have this ecosystem of partners who all integrate together, and so there's a lot of value in working and partnering with these companies. But I think if you can go to one vendor and get all of your basic tools for whether it be marketing automation, sales forecasting, all the way through, you know, in our case, quota and territory management and sales comp, I think there's some real value in extending the, the value chain. So for any of those solutions that you have, like Salesforce, Mantic, or Big Machine, Genius, and exactly, I mean, your own, have you gone to an outside consultant to help you with that? We have not. Um, in the case of, of all of those tools, um, a person on my team, a very savvy person on my team, a lead gen guide, did, did our right. Manticore uh, implementation. Right. Big Machines has their own services folks. Um, Genius is very easy to install. Um, Salesforce, we have a really good Salesforce administrator in-house. So I think you need specialty people in-house to, to look at how to best leverage those tools and implement them. But no, we did not hire any outside consultants. It's a great success story. Thank you so much. We're going to continue with Karen tomorrow, and she's going to tell us about the reasons why you should manage your Salesforce compensation with exactly.